We need to repair the ceiling soon. These leaks are getting worse. Say, what was that boy's name again? Are you referring to Fang? Yeah, him. I wonder if he can help me out. All he does is sleep, so I figure he's got plenty of time on his hands. Of course. I shall speak to him personally. If there is anything else he can do to thank you for taking such good care of us, please let me know. Really? Then I'm gonna ask him to clean the windows and scrub the latrine, too. Understood. Fang could certainly stand to be more useful around here. Don't you agree, Kiwi? Ah, oh, I completely forgot. A letter arrived for you. A letter? Here you are. A party invite? From the Dorfa Corporation? A party? If you would like, you are welcome to attend with me. Huh? Really? I wanna go? I totally wanna go! When is it? When? Tonight. Uh, I'll pass. Parties are a pain. I'd rather just sleep in my room. I see. And there is going to be so much delicious food there, too. What a shame. What? Are you serious? The invitation states that guests will enjoy a sumptuous buffet for dinner. That means there will be a plethora of food. But if you would rather sleep, I will not force you to come. Aaron and I will attend the party by ourselves. Wait, I'll go! I'm an expert at parties! I'm the party master! When I was a kid, they used to call me Fang, the party animal. I'm sure they did. I have my black belt in partying! In that case, let's all go together. But before we leave, you need to fix the leaky ceiling, clean the windows, and scrub the latrine. What? Quit screwing with me. Why do I gotta do that? If you refuse to do it, I will not bring you to the party. What? Are you sure you're okay with that? There will be lots of delicious food, and you can eat as much of it as you want. As much as I want? Seriously? Eating as much as you want is the whole point of a buffet. A buffet, huh? That... that sounds pretty awesome. by the Dorfa Corporation. Many of the people here are actually local celebrities. Isn't the Dorfa Corporation a world-famous company? How were we invited to this party? We are fencers. They probably heard about us somewhere. Oh, that reminds me. There are other fencers in the world besides us. Fencers are a rare sight in this world due to their special abilities. But that's also what puts them in such high demand. Everyone, including companies like the Dorfer Corporation, seeks out fencers to utilize their skills for various projects. I see. Whatever. I don't really care as long as I get food in my belly. Oh, damn it! It's that girl from before! Things are gonna get super weird if she spots me. I better try and avoid her. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. My name is Paiga. On behalf of the president of the Dorfa Corporation, I would like to personally thank you all for attending. As you know, our company has expanded to incorporate various businesses that provide food, clothing, and housing to the public. Furthermore, the Dorfa Corporation supports many philanthropic programs, like managing orphanages and running various charities. Filling hearts with the sun's radiance. That is the motto of the Dorfa Corporation. Huh, what a squeaky clean story. It sounds suspicious. The Dorfa Corporation is renowned for their charity work. They're the number one company fencers seek employment with. Yeah, that's even harder for me to believe. You know what I do believe? How tasty this food is! Oh, yeah. This party represents our desire to foster mutual friendships with the public. Please enjoy yourselves to the fullest. Now then, that's enough for me. 
we have a special piano performance for you all. Mr. Sherman. I hope everyone enjoys their meal and the sounds of Mr. Sherman's piano. May tonight be a festive night for you all. This party may be hosted by the world famous Dorfer Corporation, but the food is not that delicious. However, the music he creates with that piano seems to enhance the flavor of these dishes for some reason. Tastes amazing! It's so moist! It's practically melting in my mouth! <laughs> this is the best! This lobster tail tastes so good with this truffle butter! Bang! Stop eating off my plate! And stop eating off mine! Kill! Kill, kill! Kill, 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 kill! Ha! Ah, she spotted me! So it's you. I thought I heard the sound of idiots. Still acting all lovey-dovey, huh? I think it's about time I paid you back for before, is what Ethel said. Kill! Come on, cut it out! I'm eating here! Save it for later! Yeah, that's right! What would happen if this shark fin got stuck in my throat and I died? Hey! I already called that shark fin! Stop it already! Here, have some tea and settle down! I don't need any damn tea! Whoa! <laughs> what in the world are you all doing? What am I doing? Isn't it obvious? Thanks a lot, Fang! Now the piano is soaked with tea! Kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Ethel says, tisk tisk. Now you're in trouble. What are you talking about? You did this! It's your fault! I don't think my darling Ethel did anything wrong at all. That is quite enough. Apologize for your rude behavior right this instant. It's quite all right. There's no need to apologize. This piano C note was slightly off anyway. Huh? I'm the one who should be apologizing. I've clearly subjected everyone here to unsatisfactory music. That's... Please, it's no trouble at all. Phew, I'm glad he didn't ask us to compensate him for the piano. Right, Bang? It's just a little wet from tea. Quit overreacting. I disagree. We disrupted your performance. We are the ones who should be apologizing. Regardless of your piano's tuning, your performance was truly wonderful, as if a rainbow sprang forth from my heart. Your words are far too kind. Thank you. Who does this guy think he is? Acting all cool and stuff? He really pisses me off. Kill, kill. Ethel says, that guy's super suspicious and a total jerk. Wow, for once we agree on something. Kill. Ethel says, I'll kill you and... Well, I'll omit the rest. Jeez, could you lighten up already? things going huh? what are you talking about do you remember anything new oh that nope not a thing none of the fairies I met recognized me either I see yeah good morning you two please hurry and wash your faces when you are finished preparing we will leave immediately the hell? Where are we going? I heard something interesting at the Dorfer Corporation's party. Apparently, 
A holy artifact enshrined in the village of Kiranar is actually a fury. When did you hear about that? The whole point of parties is to meet new people, converse, and forge new friendships. They are not simply for eating free food. Additionally, no less than ten gentlemen flirted with me throughout the night. What are you bragging about? Fifty people tried to flirt with me! Well, actually, it was more like a hundred people. Quit competing, you liars. That information about the Fury sounds fishy, too. Are you sure that isn't bogus info? Regardless, it's better than idly waiting here doing nothing. Besides, it appears Lola has no information on her end either. I want to gather the Furies as quickly as possible. My dream depends on it. Your dream? World peace, of course. Pretty sure you're lying. Fishy.